I am so excited for this ride. Holy crap. First ride in a supercharged VR. And I gotta say, <sighs> this just sounds so good. And this one's tuned super nice. Like I said, 314 to the wheels. They can go even more with the higher pull he has to go to 15 PSI. But, I don't know, just as the car is, power wise feels great. Oh, makes such good sounds. I'm having a good day already. 6 a.m. Nice little cruise down here, 8 o'clock in the morning. We got cars everywhere. They also do drag racing here, which is sick. See some cars run. Pontus rear lip looking fantastic. Yeah, this should be a good day. This is 36 watt, which is pretty cool. And there's the VR6 turbo rolling in. Yeah, this should be a good day. There's the E30 again. Yeah, should be a good day. All right, all the tape is off. She's cleaned up. Listen, I rode here in a supercharged VR6 the rest of the day. I mean, like everything else is extra now. Best start of the day ever. This thing is so much fun. Yes, I know, I need one, I know. Don't tell, I know. So aside from the car show that's down there and the drag racing over here, they also have a mass like swap meet and there's just parts everywhere. And I'm trying to not leave with a bunch of stuff, but there's also a bunch of stuff and like, you guys know I love stuff. Look at it. there's stuff over there, there's stuff over there. This is not good. <laughs> this is, this is not good. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff here. We must leave the show empty-handed, but there's a good chance I might need something. 
If I can find my bumper lights to the Mark II, that would be huge. This would be the place to find it. If I was gonna find it, this would be the place. Window regulators, because all the electric ones break. Ryan, this is what you need right here. Crank windows for your car. This is what you need, a whole pile. So there's headlights over there. All right, my goal, we're gonna find my uh, my bumper lights today. All right, this would be the table here. I see a lot of amber. I see Mark three. This is Mark two on the fender. Oh, is this it? No, mine has mine is the one screw with the prong on the back side, so not that. Of course, it's none of these. It's similar to this one, but this is too big. But of course, it's none of these ones. Apparently, the bumper lights I need, and I have them coming still, they're just not here yet. I'm being impatient. But the ones I need are like the most difficult ones to find. No. Eventually, maybe I'll get lucky, but maybe not. There's just so much cool stuff here. Little horn button there. Ooh, door handles. Okay, can we get a chrome strip for mine? One of these? I need one for my car, but that would do it right there. This thing's dope. Red interior, but I spotted uh, spotted those back there. So I actually found my bumper lights right there. One screw on the side with the little prong on this side, but it's with the bumper. So I'm gonna see if he wants to sell without the bumper. Cause I just I just want them. If I can get those here and I can get the chrome door handle, we'll be uh we'll be chilling. Look how cool this seat is. Dude, there's so many parts here. I have to control myself and not buy everything. We must control ourselves here today, people. Park. I don't need it. I don't need it. I kind of want it. This line is gnarly. All the way from there, all the way to down there, up over, and then all the way back down. There are so many good cars. That Mark II over there with the full cami kit. I mean, there's so many good things. The Beetle, this thing's cool. Yeah, I'm hyped for this show. What in the world is going on? I love it. <laughs> All of the turbo. That thing is clean. And then lifted Beetle, love this. Oh, there's so much good stuff. This one is so nice right here. And then just 32. Now I like 32s, but someone needs to tell him he brought the uh, he brought the wrong 32. A couple more cars, VR6. They look at the Porsche wheels. Oh, the wagon's so good. Dude, there is just so many cars here. I'm kind of mind blown how many cars are just rolling through. Look at the line. Look how far back the line goes. Nuts. West Coast kind of goes hard. Yeah. I, I like this. There's a lot of cars out here. So, funny enough, I just met this gentleman. What's your name? My name's Greg. Greg, and has a lovely Mark III. This bumper came from me. Back when I was selling bumpers, this one came from me. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Pieces from my barn in Germany living on out here. Love to see that. Big fan of this. This thing is sick. Nice little 3-2. Cage RPF1s. Just, it just keeps going on and on. I'm gonna keep saying it, but there's so many cars here. Look at this. It's crazy. There's definitely a lot of cool cars here, but um. But this. This is this is amazing. I, V10, TDI, you mean, yeah. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Mark II Jetta Coupe. On my list. Love the car, man. Look at the louvers in the back. Woo. On my list, boys and girls, on my list. I love this thing. Mark I Rabbit Truck. 4700 or best offer. Hear me out, we buy this and I drive it back to North Dakota. It's got the Blue River Carls in it, the wood on the dash, on the BBS. We buy this here and I drive it like 20 hours. What do you think? I buy this here and drive it 20 hours back? I triple double dare you. I don't, I don't want to do that. That sounds awful. It'll be fun, but it also kind of sounds awful. It's cool though. Triple double dare you. Much 4, better, 700. Right? If we can get a group buy going with everyone here, then I'll do it. Definitely a cool car though. Oh, 
this is perfect. All types of perfect. Dang, I love the wheels, love the graphics on it. Good old sports truck. Yeah, my car is What do we have here, my friends? I met the owner of the shop that built that car and he knows all about the real A59. He's worked with that car as well, like way back in the day. But they built that one. I think it's, Brian, that one's turbo, R32, or? VRT. VRT, yes. Yep. So VRT, A59, similar parts in the car, but we'll check it out in a minute. But very cool to see the real one, then see this one, like back to back. Makes no sense. So I spotted this. And I kind of want this because the VR6 turbo manifold with a turbo already on it, and I see a short run over there, and a front mount, and a downpipe, and a head gasket spacer. Oh no. I need to get out of here right now. Look at this thing Montana Green Mark II. With the brakes, with the OZs, next to the VR Turbo over there, next to the beautiful red Mark II. There's a lot of good cars here, like crazy amount of just awesome cars out here. Wagon Squad, got the lights on it. Looking good. Always love me a good wagon. This is your, I don't know, I've been forgetting, but here's your reminder buy a wagon so I'm trying to be as smart about this as possible but there's a lot of parts here and you guys know I like parts and they're selling stuff for cheap and I like parts and I like cheap parts so I brought a bunch of my own parts to sell to make some money to buy parts over there and hopefully I don't end up with a VR6 turbo which I might people are offering to keep stuff at their house for me and ship to me later and that's not good Ah, oh, everyone's really nice here. I've met a lot of people. The car scene out here on the West Coast is amazing. They're super, super awesome. Everyone's super friendly, tons of beautiful cars. But you're encouraging me to do bad things, to buy parts and buy cars and like, I don't have money like that. But I'm having a great time out here. Pacific Waterlands, I'll definitely be back next year for sure. I mean, look at this. Just cars on cars on cars. All right, show poster has been acquired. Super awesome one for this year and Snagged me another one from Integrated Engineering. It's not the A59, but I had to get a 59 again just because why not? So this whole center section here is the uh, Double J Motorworks, and I believe they put on this show. And I met the owner a little while ago, but they have a bunch of really nice cars, which I want to see that in a second. But look at this, another Mark One Jetta Coupe. Wow, this is Carrie's car. Okay. Also, oh, Joy's wife's car. Yeah, this thing's incredible. What a beautiful car. Jetta Coupe, paint stun, chrome strippings all perfect. Beautiful car. Okay, let's see this. So, his name's Joey, correct? And he's the one who built this car. Yeah. So I was talking to him earlier, he knows the original A59, so this is the same bumper, side skirts, fenders, front and rear of the quarter, the rear bumper as well. Different spoiler, different hood, um, but obviously very A59 inspired, and it's got the badge right there. It's kind of crazy to go from the East Coast and seeing the original A59, and then coming here and seeing this one, which also is very, very cool. And it's got a VR6, so you can't... Look, look, see? I made the argument that if, if the A59 came with the VR6 Turbo, it would be even cooler, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna change that. But this is cool to see both cars in their own, uh, their own rights is super, super cool. It's very A59s, not exactly the same, but in its own right, very cool. And it is all-wheel drive. Little differences. There's no vent back there. They could cut it out, but it's not there. Little differences, no rear seats. This one's a bit more race car, whereas the A59 was built as a street car, but this one's got like the harnesses in it. It's very cool, still a cool car. Cool to see in person. I saw this car years ago online, and to see in person is pretty cool. All right, next one. What do you got here, Brian? Uh, so this is David Wilson's car, VR6 Turbo. Uh, All-wheel drive swap. He built it himself. Almost everything here is either VR6 Turbo or VR6 Supercharged. Yeah. And I'm, I'm in heaven. This is the best place. So Mark II VR6 Turbo All-wheel drive. Can't go wrong. I want to see the end real fast. It looks gnarly. He's got the turbo mounted off to the side with a cool uh, the manifold in the back. 
I mean, look at that. Rally front end, shave bay or partial shave bay. This thing looks nuts. I love the turbo setup. The presentation is so good. And again, this one is also all wheel drive. I'm not sure if it's sinker or four motion. Super nice. Okay, so you can see where they cut out in the floor back here, the weld in, and support the all-wheel drive stuff in the back. Cool car. Very well done car. We gotta do a quick walk around this thing, it's beautiful. I don't think it's VR6 Turbo all-wheel drive, but nonetheless, beautiful. I love the surfboard on top, love the color, the little graphic on the side. Yeah, they're good. And lots of good cars in here. The Mark 1 Jetta Coupe, love that. The A59 style car. Yeah, they brought out some nice, nice cars. I love this thing. All right, question time. If you had to pick Mark 1 Jetta Coupe, the Rabbit, the VR6 Turbo All Wheel Drive Mark 2, or the A59, which car are you taking? Which car? You taking this one? Yeah, this thing's good. What? Do you know what engines in the car? I think six, 16 valve maybe? 16 valve, that's awesome. This is gorgeous. This is all the build details for the blue car. If you want to pause it and screenshot or whatever, there's all of that. This is the one for the Jetta Coupe. And then the one for the uh, Mark II. So, there you go, all the info. All right, lunch time and drag racing. Definitely can't go wrong. He wins. Well, he has number one qualifier, so. Ooh, 11 4 at 120. <laughs> So I've seen this car online for quite a while. Very good in person. Mark II Jetta Coupe, I believe it's a full cami body kit, so front lip, side skirts, the rear lip extension down here. Really cool Jetta side moldings, BBS LMs, the spoiler. Love the Jetta heck button in the back. Nicely done. Nicely done, and 180T swap. Cool car. And the rally front end. Can't forget that. Yeah. Really nice car. Couple other cool details. Cami bag in the back and little cami backrest. And you can see inside there. Mark III cluster. Nicely done. Cool car. Alright, I'm curious to see this. I see the badging on the back. And I've also heard it's supercharged. Well, there it is. Just stuffed it on in here. You know what? I like it. It's bagged. I don't know if the wheels are real. I don't think so, but it's okay. It's got a, it's got a 3.6 supercharger in it. You know what? It is what it is. It's just stuffed in here, but actually it kind of fits not too bad. There's no room in the front. But 3.6 supercharged. Not real. No, yeah, I saw. But still, 3.6 supercharged. Looks good. 
VR6 Corrado with the HPA manifold, carbon fenders, and the brown interior. Look at that. I like it. Super nice. Big old brakes on it. Yeah, it's ready to do work. I'm always a fan of a red Corrado. On the Porsche OZs, the Porsche brakes, interiors all done up. And the Porsche Manifold 3.2 in this one, very similar to the 3.6, but this thing is in there so tight, like... And I think it's touching these strut brakes here. It is. I mean, this thing is... A 3.2 in a Corrado is doable, but with this Manifold, it's just like... This thing is tight in there. Jetta Wagon. Jetta Wagon. Jetta Wagon. Jetta Wagon. Wait for it. Wait for it. Jetta Wagon and... Jetta wagon, Jetta wagon, and Jetta wagon. We got them, boys. 20 bucks later, and I have bumper lights for the Mark II. Let's go. Scored two more pieces for the Mark II. This is a rear piece that connects to the rear rebar because mine was so bent. Um, I got it better, but it doesn't fit perfectly. This one is completely good to go. So got that, and also a new bracket for the front bumper because my left side is missing. So got this, got that, got the lights. It's a good score for the Mark II today. Starting to rain, but another car I want to highlight. I saw it this morning rolling in. And it's beautiful. You said what, six year build, he said? Six year build, yeah. Six year build, this is the first show it's been to. First ever, first ever show. First ever show, I get to see it. Yeah. Beautiful, 1980 Rabbit. Beautiful color, the wheels are done, the interior, let's show the interior real fast. You can open the door. Okay, thank you. Sure. Look at this, look at the dash. Leather wrapped, yeah, I, um, uh, seats are done, mesh headrest. I always like to know that it's, uh, all the so so good door cards matching everything's painted inside and out oh, a little bit more than that a little bit more there it is wait for it buy him yes sir look at that back there Woo. yeah this thing might be the favorite of the day Bay's done, the engine's been swapped, painted, polished, replaced, everything is just, look at this thing. Perfect. I'm a fan. And first show it's been to, and I get to see it. Yeah, hands down, one of the favorites here today. Maybe the favorite. It's just so clean and so good. I love it. Sounds good, man. I mean, right now it's just like literally into my three inch right now, but I want to get something. Oh, yeah. Oh, All right, show field slowly emptying out my first Pacific Waterlands, and honestly, West Coast goes hard. This is a fun show. Met a lot of awesome people. And now, get ride home in this. A lot of cars out here. But yeah, I get ride home in this. No complaints. Look at this. I got lights. Mark two parts back there. Sold some parts. Got some shirts. Got some posters. Even got the Mark III Jetta tag here. You know, just some goodies from the show. Ah. Oh. Favorite sound.
man, she's home. I love this car. The amount of just fantastic details on this car. Oh. Love this thing. Again, can't thank you enough. First, Pacific Waterlands, definitely most memorable. Got the yeah. ride home and there in the utmost of style. This thing's awesome. We had a great time. Shoot, yeah. All right, final thoughts on Pacific Waterlands 2022. This was my very first ever West Coast car show. And I gotta say, the West Coast boys go hard. I had a great time, super awesome event between the swap meet, all the cars, the drag racing, lots to do, lots to see. I had a great time. I had a beautiful car to ride and again, massive thank you to Brian. I wouldn't be out here without him, so big thank you to him. Give him a follow, his car, I mean, look at this thing. It's beautiful, look at that Pontus rear lip, woo! This car looks so good and it's a blast to ride. And I, again, thank you to Brian, shout out, super, super awesome dude. Um, but yeah, Pacific Waterlands 2022, awesome show, I had a great time. Definitely plan to come back next year. People want me to bring a car very, very far. It's literally east coast to west coast to bring a car, but maybe. It would be cool to bring Miley to the west coast, maybe. We'll, we'll see on that. But other than that, I had a great time at the show, plan to come back, got to meet a ton of new people. I follow a lot of people out here on the west coast with cool car builds, and it was cool to put faces to the cars and meet people. Everyone was super nice. I had a great time. I, I signed a bunch of dashes, which I don't know why people want me to devalue their car, but I'm happy to sign stuff if you guys want for whatever reason. I am nobody special. I'm down to talk and hang out with literally anybody. I'm just out here to see cool cars, meet new people, and just make awesome memories. And we definitely did this weekend. I had a great, great time. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Do not forget, be thankful for every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.